This is for West Virginia. I'm Mark Stewart. This is the Daily Fire for Sunday, June 16th. What is a governor candidate for Connecticut doing speaking to West Virginians? Well, I'm addressing good teachers in West Virginia with the message, come on up. You've got some struggles with your administrations and with your legislature to get good pay. You won't have those struggles here. Connecticut is very strong for education. Families here value it so much. They fund it really well and it will continue. It's part of our Constitution. There's only two aspects in the Constitution that demand that the state do something and both relate to the funding of education. We have very good teachers here. You better be good. You're going to have to keep up with their standards, whether that's private or public. But the benefits are high salaries. And if you have kids yourself, to have very good schools for them at grades K through 12. How do I know that parents will continue to pay for good education? Town by town, the best towns, the hot real estate towns in this state are the ones with the renowned school systems. I was just in Glastonbury last night, food fest. And parents who are content, some even happy, but at least content to be paying more for taxes to be in really good schools. West Hartford, same thing well done school systems it's rock solid taxes are high here they know it but they pay it and real estate prices are going up because people still want more housing in these good hartford area towns southern connecticut has a lot of good towns for you too here's the beautiful thing you won't have to plunk down a lot for a mortgage in connecticut because you don't have to be in one of those towns thanks to first 500 my plan is to make sure that statewide we have a voucher system. If you live in Bethany, if you live in Morris, if you live out in Preston, and you want your child at a school that is well run, you're not stuck in a town with schools that are obstinate. Your dollars go with your kid to the school that you choose. And maybe that is in Bethany or Morris or Preston. And I hope that better schools bring themselves up because concerned parents want that wherever they are. Good. You don't have to travel. But until that happens, you've got the power of a voucher. You vote with your feet so that your kids go to the best places for them. Now, you're a teacher. You're underpaid right now. In Connecticut, you will not be. Don't expect a great pension. We can't afford that anymore, so don't expect that. But every other benefit, high salary, good control of curriculum, and around you, people who want better education, that's a high priority, you're going to find comfort here. Come on up any weekend, starting in the fall. In this very room, we do our initial interviewing. Okay, on behalf, I'm not governor yet, but on behalf of parents in Connecticut, superintendents who may want to hire you, you'll be teaching fellow students on a trial basis. We'll see your stuff. I don't care if you're not a PhD. We don't care about credentialing. We care that you're good. Show it here. We'll make good video in case you don't want to come up. You'll still have good effort. But Show your stuff to the parents, the students who will be in the audience, the superintendents who will be able to see this eventually, and the private school administrators that will be having access to you. Meanwhile, see Connecticut. You'll like it. I'm Mark Stewart. I love it here. I hope you'll join us.